Hello, please watch this video to learn how to complete the online application for Fullerton College. You will have to complete two steps. Step one, create an open CCC account and sign in. And step two, complete the Fullerton College application. Let's begin. Step one, how to create your open CCC account and sign in. First, go to the Fullerton College website by visiting fullcall.edu. Next, scroll all the way down and click on Apply Now. Then, click Begin Application. If you've applied to other community colleges, you took a dual enrollment class at your high school or took a class at the FC campus, you may already have an account and can skip this step and sign in using the username and password you created. If you have never applied to a California community college, click on Create an Account. For those of you who have an open CCC account, this is how you will sign in. To sign in, use your email or phone number and password. If you forgot your login information, click Recover Account. Then, follow the instructions to recover your account. If you have any issues with your account, please contact CCC Help for Assistance. Their phone number is 877-247-4836 or you may contact them by email at support at openccc.net. For those first applying to the college, this is how to create your OpenCCC account. If you have never applied to a California community college, click on Create an Account. Enter your phone number or email, then click Text or Email My Verification Code. Then use the verification code you received from either your email or phone to verify your account. Step 1. Contact information. If you verified your account using your phone number, your first step will be to input your email. If you verified your account using your email, your first step will be to input your phone number. Then continue by accepting the terms of use. For the final question in contact information, please pick the answer that best applies to you. Step 2. Personal information. For this step, you will begin inputting your personal information. As seen on the screen, type in your legal first, middle, and last name. Finish this section by providing your birthday. You must input this information twice. Step 3. Credentials. For this final step, please create a password. It must contain one of the following prerequisites on the left-hand side. Once you have your password, confirm your password and then click Create My Account. You have now finished creating your account. At the top right, you will see your CCC ID. Please write this down for future use. Congratulations! You are now ready to apply. Step 2. Complete the Fullerton College application. To begin this process, please click Start a new application. The Enrollment tab is where you will select the term you are applying for, an educational goal, and your intended major or program. Please select an educational goal and major you are interested in. Your major is not set in stone, so you are able to change it in the future at any time. Please make sure you select the correct term you are applying for. Previous Name the previous name section applies to those who got married and therefore had a last name change, or applies to those who changed their legal name. If these do not apply to you, click No and continue. Social Security Number Under this section, if you have a social security number, please select Yes, I have a social security number or taxpayer identification number and enter your social security number and repeat on the second line. If you do not have a social security number, don't worry, you can still apply. For those who do not have a social security number, click the second option indicating you do not have a social security number. Parent slash guardian information. 
Select the statement that best applies to you, and then input your parent's name. Current mailing address. If your mailing address is the same as the permanent address in my OpenCCC account above, check off the box. But if it's different, input and update your application with the new mailing address, then click Continue. In the Education section for dual enrollment students, please select under College Enrollment Status, Enrolling in High School or Lower Grade and College at the same time. Then in the High School Education section, please select Will be enrolled in High School or Lower Grade and College at the same time, then continue on. Under Last High School Attended, click on I Attended High School, then type in your high school's name. After typing in your high school's name, Make sure your school is selected from the drop-down menu. Once you see your high school, click on it and then continue. High School Transcript Information First, answer the question, what was the highest grade you completed in high school? Then, please select the correct grade you have completed. Then input your unweighted high school GPA. If you are unsure of your high school GPA, Use ARIES or a program your high school uses to monitor your grades to access your high school transcript information, and then input your GPA. Then answer the next questions with the option that best applies to you. Citizenship slash military. Under citizenship, select the option that best applies to you in the drop-down menu. If you are a US citizen, select that option and move on to the military question. If your parent or guardian or siblings are in the military, select the option that best applies to you and complete the necessary information. Then click Continue. If you are not a U.S. citizen, please listen to the following options. If you are a U.S. permanent resident or hold a visa, not F1 or F2 visa, or are undocumented slash out of status, you can still complete and submit the online application. You may be required to submit additional information. The Admissions and Records Office will contact you if additional documents are necessary. If you are a permanent resident, temporary resident slash under amnesty, a refugee, or an asylee, please select that option that best applies to you and include the alien registration number and then move on to the military question. Visa students. If you are an international student or have a visa, Please select the visa type and include the issue date and visa expiration date. You may be asked to provide additional information and then move on to the military question. No documents. If you are a DACA student or a student who is not born in the U.S., please select Other and check the box that states No Documents. Just note that by clicking No Documents, Admissions and Records may contact you to provide further information later. Once the box is checked, click Continue. Residency. Under California Residence, select the answer that best applies to you. If you select no when stating if guardians have been in California, you will have to add the date of when your guardian's stay in California began. If you haven't lived in California since that date, make sure you select the date. Special Residency. Under Special Residency Categories, select the option that best applies to you regarding your residency status and then click Continue. Under the Needs and Interest tab, answer the questions to the best of your ability. For Programs and Services, click on the ones that interest you. You will then be emailed with additional information about the programs and services you selected. Once you've selected the programs and services, click Continue. Demographic information. Please answer these questions to the best of your ability. Once done with this section, click Continue. Submission. Once you've reached this submission page, review your application to make sure all information provided is correct. And if there are no errors, scroll down to the next sections. Read this statement and select the option that agrees with you the most. This will also be the case for the next two questions on this page. Please read the statement and check the boxes. After reviewing your application and responding to the sections on this page, click Submit My Application. After submitting your online application, you will then see a confirmation page. 
Please check your email for important information such as your college ID number and password. Important! Check your email. It's important to check your email because your banner ID and My Gateway password will be sent to your email. You will need your banner ID and My Gateway password to log into your My Gateway account. Congratulations! You have now completed the Fullerton College application. If you have any questions, please contact the Educational Partnerships and Outreach team at our Instagram at fullcall underscore outreach, our email at outreach at fullcall.edu, or through our outreach website at outreach.fullcall.edu. Thank you and have a great day.